Okay, I'm going to show you another motorhome and show you how everything works on the, on the motorhome. That's the van over there. It's a bit of a beast, it's an auto trail. Now these Andover videos, basically the reason why we did them and started doing them over a year ago is the customers brought the van, so it's their own personal video of how the van works and how everything gets set up basically. Um, and then they come really popular on, on YouTube. Um, we did a blog uh, the other week asking for a bit of advice, what people want to see and they want to see more prices, more stats, which we are starting to do so. I do value your comments, so put your comments in and things that you'd like to see because we do read them and um, we are starting to evolve how we do the handover videos now you've probably seen this van before um, when it was up for sale we did the walk around and review of it um, so I don't really need to go into it too much it's a bit of a beast now with this handover video um, whether a van's this size or that size basically the principle of setting the van up is pretty much the same only you'll find some of the controls are a little bit different so let's get this van um, all set up so the customer knows what they're doing if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button and more importantly subscribe to the channel because it does mean a lot to us and put your comments in below because um, we do listen so we've got the auto trail scout uh, I might as well give you a quick few stats if you can't be bothered to watch the other video um, it's a beast like I said it's just over eight meters long three meters high it's a six berth with six belted seats this one's a 2018 and it's only done 3,000 miles it's a 2.3 liter diesel 140 brake horsepower um, basically it's an end lounge and um, what else can I tell you about built-in sat nav USB points it's even got a wine glass in the lockers fins put as well so it's quite a posh one it's a really nice van actually so let's not mess around let's get the van set up and let's go so habitation door we have the awning now the awning there's the, the point for the awning you just wind it out and the awning comes out quite straightforward so first thing we've got here is the gas locker now to open the gas if you just have a look inside there we have lift that up I'll just put that there that opens the gas locker lift the gas locker up good size for two open the gas press the button in and press another one in they really crash um, sensors so it, it cuts the gas off if um, unfortunate if you did have an accident and why I'm here if I just show you there that's for the bonnet release catch just have a quick look inside so it's on the Fiat I'm six speed and then with your media pack and everything else so there's the first element we put the gas on love the new cabs really like them and then the next one we've got the two locks here if we lift this up this fan's fitted with two ledger batteries we have the hook up and then just below here is our drain off for our waste tank so basically everything that goes down a plug hole goes into a waste tank and that drains it down so we'll just drop that down because it's decided to rain then it's nice then it's rained then it's nice and i'm still looking for a rainbow so next one cassette toilet i've shown you enough times we take the cassette out to empty any resistance stop because you haven't closed the toilet on the inside something interesting here we have the drain off for the fresh water tank and then that's our filler point for the for the fresh water tank and then we can also put a little 12 volt pump on um, if we get caught short and we're not anywhere near any taps um, we can have an aqua roll put the pump in and it'll pump water in there now what we do have we do have another point here now you could actually put a shower on and wash the van off and it takes the water from the fresh water tank so a nice little feature there but you must have the pump on on the inside to be able to work with it so we'll move to the next part have I got the keys so there we go that opens that that opens that we open that up and if you can see underneath we've got a good garage underneath and there's actually what I was talking to you about the pump that you can push in um, and get your water into the fresh water tank there so just another thing about the lockers basically the way to shut them is you must lock them first and push it to like so and same again on this one I 
I got it right in the end though, didn't I? Um, I did get something wrong. It's not a 140, it's a 150 brake horsepower. Now, um, with this van, we're both going in blind, uh, you people watching out there, because the way we, we do the vans is, when a van comes in, we do a pre-check. Um, so somebody, and actually Finn and Kevin have pre-checked this van. When we sell the van, we then do another proper check over. Um, and it's actually uh, John who's actually done that. And then when the van's going out and we're shooting these handover videos, I actually do a final check of checking it all off before then we, we hand them out. So they do get the three checks basically. So um, might have to bear with me on this one because I'm going in for the first time on it. But like I said at the start of the video is if you understand the basics, you can't really go wrong on any type of motorhome. So we'll move to the back. We've got reversing camera above. We have the spare wheel, dead simple. We push this in, unlock it. I'll actually show you to be honest. So if we undo that then, this all slots off and there's your spare wheel. Push that back in. I've got a tow bar. This I'm guessing on the back is for an outside aerial. I am only guessing. Let me know in the comments um, if you think it's anything else or I did actually get it right. And then quickly show you, this is the other side of the garage so you can access the garage both sides. There's the awning winder. And then we've put a hook up into the van. So every van we send out, we always make sure there's a hook up in the van and there's always a gas bottle. Cause like I say, I don't like people going home and then having to buy the different things. They can pretty much go out and start camping straight away. So what we have here then, outside barbecue point. And then just like a tow where you've got your central heating, you've got the flue coming out the van, out the side of the house. We also have a flue for the heating system. This has got the winter cover on. Right, I'll try it first time, but I never seem to do them right. So hold down. Oh, look at that first time. And then just pull it off. Don't just pull off like that, because you have a nasty habit of these coming off or you break these. So hold down, pull out, done. Fence for the fridge. So we are guessing it's a full size fridge. We've already switched the gas on. So we've got water in the van. We've got 230 in the van. And what else have we done? Put electric in the van. So three elements. Let's go wake the van up. So, if I can see, we have electric step. I'll just put that winter cover there. So, I'll give you a quick look around. So, good six berth. We've got the overcab bed. We've got the dinette, kitchen area. And then if we turn around, we have the U-shaped lounge. And then I'll just show you now inside bathroom area, washroom area, cassette toilet sink and shower. So first things first, um, before we do anything, we've got to actually switch the van on. So let's go over to the control panel. Quite a nifty one actually. We just touch it. That switch, sorry, that switches it on. There's our lights. There's our awning light. And then we can actually dim, dim them. We've got the pump. We've got the water levels. So fresh water, wastewater, back to home again. And then we have the various other ones with the batteries and everything else. And just turn that. And then we also have like a settings as well. So I'll just put that back. So we've got the lights on. So I'll just go around now, switching a few of these lights on. And what else have we got? We've got another one there. What else have we got, Finn? Do you go and switch the back ones on? Right, so we've got all the lights on. So what shall we do now? Right, let's bring some gas through because we switched the gas on. So hot plate there. So that works off your 230 electric. Not got a hook up in the van. You can't use it, simple. We'll turn that. There we go. Nice and easy to light. Oh, I've turned the grill on there. There we go, there's another ob. And then what we also have as well, don't know if you can just see where the igniter is, we do have a light for the oven. So we've got some gas coming through. Next thing is we've got to prime up. So we've got a hot water tank, we've got the fresh water tank. We fill the fresh water tank, we've got to prime water into the hot water tank. So we need the pump on. So let's switch the pump on. I don't know if you can hear that going. I'm bringing the water through. 
and there you go the pump switched off now it's not going to happen that quick we've already cheated actually we've already primed it up and then all we did i turned the pump off there we've just released a little bit of pressure and again if i switch the pump on let me switch the pump on there brings the pressure back up so normally it takes around about two minutes actually to, to prime the system up so we're all primed up we've got the gas going we've got the water in um, and then what we need to do now I'm going to show you the heating and also the hot water so we've got a microwave again switch the microwave on that switches it on pushed her open for microwave plate oh oh look at that there we go See, that's another thing we do we tend to label quite a few things because when people first have the van it is a lot to take in um and then what we also have ah oh, there it is so when we check the vans off we do a check sheet it's, it's basically a two-page check sheet basically so i don't know if you can see that leisure battery um driver side hatch and we make notes where everything is and then little things like that we do put labels on so it helps um, for the customer when they've got the van they can go oh where's the water pump and like we put there in end lounge under bench seat near side which I'll, again i'll show you in a minute um but this didn't take we didn't just make this up it's two it's two years of started off with one page and we've slowly added and slowly added as things have gone wrong or uh, we've missed things um so we've got pretty much everything really so if you can see there on the fridge we took a reading and then we've gone back and we take reading so i think we've got it pretty much um sorted now but we can always add as things happen um that's the beauty with having that so and then everybody knows what's been done what hasn't been done what needs doing so i'm waffling again aren't i we need to be setting this motor home up so i like the storage in here finn what do you think Lovely. Yeah. yeah load of storage yeah and we've got plenty what have we got here yeah we've got plenty of storage in So where we're we up to um we put the water through i've shown you the microwave i can't help keep pushing that it's like don't touch wet paint isn't it um showing you that right let's have a look here let's move into the so we've got the control panel now there's our heating on the electric so we can either have it on a 500 a thousand or 2000 and there's our temperature and then the fire just show you the fire it's in between it's in between the u-shaped lounge and also well basically opposite the shower now i need to show you something actually so we see how we just switch the ultra heat fire on it should be here yeah they all are so if we see here i'll just show you this consumer unit so power on and off we've got a 12 volt fuses we've got the trips and reverse priority for when we're away and um, now we've got the charge that's trickle charging the leisure battery if we switch that off it's not charging it heating and hot water now if i switch that off now let's just switch that off can you just see back up here how the light's gone off and i'm just going to switch it back on so just have a look there has that come back on yeah so you see how that so you must have that switched on and uh, you don't necessarily have to keep switching it on and off all the time because you can take the hookup out it'll automatically go off anyway so there we go we've got the heating on the electric next to that we have the gas hot water so if i switch that on now I've just did that and I've just did that lit. Easy way to know if your gas is working on your hot water. Let's go to the flue. Don't know if you can just hear that, but you can hear it going. And then after, after a few minutes, this will start to get warm. So you will know that the, the gas is working on the hot water. Also, if it's not working, you'll get a fault light on the switch. But there, there's another thought as well. Um, I'm flying out with tips here. If you haven't used the gas on the hot water in a while, you probably will trip out because it's pushing air through and then it will cut out. So just switch it off, let it reset, three or five seconds, switch it back on again. And that's the same with the, actually the fridge. Anything that you don't use, if you don't use the fridge on the gas, just put it on every now and again, just to run basically. Because, you know, like an electric fire, if you haven't used it in a while and you put the electric fire on, you can smell the dust burning. So any appliances you don't use, put them on every now and again and just let them have a run through. So fire, let's have a look what we've got. We've already done the electric, we've got gas. Simple, turn, can we hear the tick, 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 tick? That's the igniter, hold down 
and it's slit. Can we hear that? And then you have got a spy glass just down there. I don't know if you're probably going to be able to see that on the camera. Oh, it sounds like a train. There we go. So that's all going. And then the next one, see the little venti things there and there? That's the blown air. So if we turn that, that'll send us blown air around all around the van. There's two vents there. There'll be one in the bathroom. There'll also be um, a couple at the front and that basically sends um, the air through. So if you haven't got the fire on, it'll send cold air through. When the fire's warmed up, it'll then send blown air through, hence a blown air system. Um, so I'll just switch that off. I'll just switch the fire off. So now we've had the fire on the gas, we've had the fire on the electric, we've also had the um, heating, um, hot water on the gas, didn't we? Yeah. Now, it took us a while to find this. I'm going to have to show you this. For putting the electric on, the hot water, we need to take this one off. So the principle on all the motor homes are pretty much the same. Um, so we know there's going to be electric hot water. Just let me show you that first. There is our water heater that we had to prime up when we filled up the fresh water tank. There's the pipe going out for the barbecue point. There's the drain off for draining off the water heater. So don't forget if you're not using the van, drain it off. There's the pump as well. And then just down here, we've actually labeled it up. There is our electric hot water. So we can either add that on 2K or 3K. Um, and that's now operating the water on the electric so it'll warm it up. Gas will always get warmer quicker than electric. But if you're on a campsite, why use your own gas? Use the electric. Nice little touch, this van does come with an Avtec tally, I've just noticed there. Um, great tallies they are, great tallies. Um, while I'm down here, let's have a nosy see what we've got underneath. So if you just see over there, there's our water filler. So when we put water into the van, it goes down the tube, pipe, whatever you want to call it, and then into the fresh water tank, basically. And that one was the, um, that was the shower I showed you outside. Storage again underneath. And then again, all around the van, we've got good locker storage all the way around. Nice touch, what I do like about the back of this van. I like these surrounds. It just finishes off, just gives you that little bit of extra quality. And then, oh, I've got it right this time, blinds. And then fly screens. And then your windows. What are you laughing at? You, got it, you said you got it the right way around and you actually got it the wrong way around. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never get the right way around, do I? I'll have to watch that back. So, one more waiting for, there we go. Open up. Just like your typical caravans, turn them, and that keeps them open. Don't force them back again, undo them. Undo them and bring them back down. You can actually add them, let a little bit of air in. If you just see on there, see that's, that's closed, but we can also let a little bit of air in. So possibly sometimes if you do store the van outside your house and you're in for the day, you could just air the van up that way as well. So there's another option. And uh, what have we got at the back? We've got spotlights. Look at them, spot these lights everywhere in this van. We've got LEDs going all the way around. Uh, I bet they'll look really nice. And then just above the lockers, if you notice, we do have the lights as well. And then before I make my way to the back, uh, to the front, we have skylight. We can actually have it all the way open. We can drop it into there, drop it into there, or just drop it back. And then we've got, are you ready, are you ready? Fly screen, blind, see, I'm getting good at this. Um, so letting a nice bit of light in, and then you'll want to know, don't you? Bed, easy peasy, straight the way along. There's your bed, you can't sleep like that, but you need to push your cushions all the way over. And then just push it back. And then we do have a little, whatever you want to call it, buttony thing there to put it in place. Um, bathroom, bathroom, we're getting through this quite well tonight, aren't we? So bathroom, what have we got? Good sized bathroom, I'm not going to go in there because it's all been cleaned. We have the, uh, oh, let's put some lights on, look at that. Look how nice that is with the light there. And then we've got a little storage there. 
just above same principle as in the back we have the fly screen uh, fly screen we have the skylight good size sink with storage underneath lift up press the button nothing's happened oh i have done it there we go and then if you can hear that's the sog system which sends any smells out switch it off i just press the button there and then as you can see the water in we have a grey lever below just here so when i push that now pull it or push it whichever direction you're sitting in what you'll see is the water disappearing into the cassette fire we have a wardrobe look at that put in whatever you want to put in well clothes really isn't it and i tell you what we've not done the biggest thing in the van we haven't done the fridge so i'll show you the size of this fridge we've got a fridge there look at that with a good size fridge freezer moving on down we have a i'd say a salad boxy area now you think it's part of the fridge but well the front's part of the fridge and then what we do have there is the drawers quite a nice touch how they've kept it all going so and they're dead simple let's put the fridge on we press the button it's on automatic and then we're going straight to electric because we've got electric in if we do need to swap it we're now on to gas there we go done a few of that that's lit and then we do also have leisure battery obviously we use a leisure battery when we're driving and then quite simple here if you can see our temperature then all we have to do there is press that button to whatever temperature we want and then i'll switch that off um what have we got here look at that we've got a place for our freestanding table as well and then another little touch which it doesn't take much to have these little bits of touches in we have separation get to bed kids we've got the separation so also as well i've just noticed on this mirror we do we have the led light going down as well so there's something else and i think while we're at it let's have a look what we've got under the cushions because there might be something important that i need to show so yeah what we've got just lift that up there we have our valves these are the gas valves these isolate all the different appliances um they've got different signs on them like a snowflake could be for the fridge um so they isolate the appliances they're more for me so if we do a gas test and we've got a gas leak we isolate each appliance and we switch each one on trying to find out where the leak's coming from now can i just show you something what we've got obviously we've got the cushions then to make up the beds we've got the pipes here see this here that's a little vent now you'll find the vents around the van don't put anything on don't cover them don't do anything now these vents are important now lpg gas is heavier than air so if you have a gas leak on any appliances because the lpg is heavier it'll drop down and the reason why these vents are put around the van is because if there is a leak the gas drops down drops down the van and down to the bottom of the van sorry down to the floor so then it's keeping you safe so don't be putting things on and pipe bedding or anything else because they're there for the reason the reason that vent's there is because the gas valves are there where the cooker is let's just have a look just see underneath the cooker we have another one so they are there for a reason folks so don't be going putting things on them it's like over even putting saucepans underneath so let's move on and do underneath the last one put the cushions there let's have a nosy what we've got under here we haven't got anything really to be honest all we've got is again is more storage and then the cushions for making up the bed i'm making up the bed on this one um i don't need to show you because we've already sold the van and he can work it out himself because he's already got a van so he knows how they work basically the bed to make it up is we take the table off we see the runners there's one there there's one on the other one this bed drops on the runners and then all of a sudden then what you all of a sudden and then we just put the cushions along to make up the bed so i think we're almost done there aren't we um water pump yeah we'll show you the water pump fridge hot water these five power points in this van um there's two of them so there's some more dotted around um i've shown you the fresh i've shown you the waste the ledger battery we've shown you the ledger battery i've showed you everything 
we're done, we're dusted, that's it. Great van, great six berth van, love your shaped lounge, love this, auto trail quality, loads of storage. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to us. I've had enough and I'm going, I'm worn out. I forgot something else, extractor fan, electric, well, 12 volts. See, there we go. We can have air coming in the van. And if we go the other way, we can have air going out the van. So I nearly forgot that. Anyway, I'm off.